Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie, and I do have a coffee, but of course you can't see it because you're on the, I'm on the avatar. Anyway, I just thought I'd make this short video because I've been watching some um, YouTube channels this morning, some uh, big YouTube channels that I quite like, and I've been watching them. And there's a couple of things that, the, that they were saying that uh, made me think maybe I should just let you know um because it may apply to my channel as well i'm not really sure but what these youtubers were saying was that they've noticed lately that people uh have become unsubscribed without unsubscribing if you see what i mean and it it jogged my memory because actually uh about a couple of weeks ago i had quite a few messages from people who'd said the same thing that they were subscribed and somehow they'd become unsubscribed and i just thought to be honest they must press the wrong button etc um but but now listening to what these youtubers are saying is it is youtube unsubscribing people i mean i can't imagine that that could happen but i know that they pick up on a lot of words so you know this particular one particular youtuber that i was watching he was saying that uh he's noticed as well about the demonetization as soon as i do think youtube must be set up to there's certain words that you must put in your um you know when i make a video and i do my thumbnail and you know the description or the title of the video there's definitely some words they just flag up immediately it's just you know limited monetization or demonetization instant before you've you know i mean you can appeal it and nine times out of ten it is um eventually they allow you to monetize it but of course by then your video's gone out and you've probably had your most views that you would have on a video in the first few hours you know it does build up over time but i don't you know i honestly to be honest i don't really know it works and i don't really care in a way because all that you know you can worry about it too much and then it just stops you from just doing the content that you want to do i just do that i don't do videos for clips it's like um if I think something's interesting, I'll make a video on it and it, sometimes it does well and sometimes it doesn't. But I don't really do it for that as much as the fact I do it for what I enjoy doing. I, I could sit here and do, you know, videos on things that you know for certain people are going to click on. Um, but if it's boring for me, why would I do that? But anyway, so I just wanted to show you how to make sure, just in case it's true. And, you know, this guy was also saying... Uh, you know, because he's noticed, um, he do, makes quite sort of, well, say contentious videos, not contentious videos, but he tries to present all sides of everything. So like he might report on the Israel-Hamas uh, war, but he won't only be on Israel's side. He will uh, support the Palestinians, not Hamas, but the Palestinians. And, you know, I like these kind of channels that give you a balanced view rather than just whatever the narrative is of the day, you know, nothing, you know, things as special like the Israel-Hamas war, very complicated, the the Russian-Ukraine war. There's so many, you know, it's, it's not black and white that you just look at it and that's that and that's that. There are so many other factors to most things. And then, of course, lately there's been a lot of news about Epstein and I noticed that every time I put a video out about Jeffrey Epstein uh, and I don't, you know, put the word p in the title or you know don't mention anything controversial in the title it would just be like oh epstein's island or jeremy epstein's list you know nothing straight away it's uh demonetized so it must be programmed that if you mention epstein or uh, trump is another one i suppose anyone who could possibly be contentious maybe it happened with putin or certainly happens with things that I do about the british government so it just makes you wonder, is Trump, uh, Trump, is this a YouTube set up? So as soon as you mention anything that they think, you know, because you can put words in that flag up, I can do that just on my channel. I can put words in that I won't allow to be used on my channel. 
So if I can do that just on my little channel, I'm sure YouTube can do that on a massive scale because it will be words not only in English but in all the different languages that YouTube deals with. Um, so, yeah, just I thought that. I thought, oh, maybe they are doing that. Maybe as soon as you mention the word Epstein, they like to. Because what they do then is, uh, you know, they tell you that it's been demonetized or limited monetization and then you appeal. But it takes, well, it can take anything from a couple of hours. Literally, sometimes it's a couple of hours. And then other times, I've had ones that have took weeks before they've been cleared and then of course others are not cleared and they get upheld and you can't monetize those and these are supposed to be manual reviews these are supposed to be reviews by a real person so quite often I've wondered does it depend on the person who's reviewing it so if I'm doing a video on um, Trump for example and I'm in favor of Trump and then someone's reviewing it who isn't in favor of Trump would that count? Or vice versa, if I do a video and I'm anti-Trump and then someone is reviewing that video and they are pro-Trump, you know, you just don't know, do you? So uh, anyway, so I just wanted to show you, just let's have a look. I just want to show you. And the other thing, of course, is some people, not everyone, because most people do get my notifications, but some people... Um, say oh no i didn't get no a notification so i just want to show you where you need to go to make sure you always get notified and to make sure that you're still still subscribed if you want to be of course if you don't want to be subscribed adios goodbye thanks for watching at some point but you know obviously it's not an obligation to be subscribed i'm just uh want to say this because uh you know i have had a couple of messages from uh, people who said oh I, I was subscribed but I'm not and as I say in my eyes I was just thinking well, maybe they pressed the wrong button but now after what I listened to what this guy was saying on his YouTube stream I thought oh maybe maybe there is something anyway so here we are this is my channel and where you need to go is to this the subscribed uh, icon and you've got the little bell there now obviously i'm subscribed this is on my from another channel that i have now if you press this icon then you get up these four different choices as far as the bell is concerned as far as the notification is concerned so you've either got all which mine is on personalized none or unsubscribe that's where you would unsubscribe if you wanted to unsubscribe so if you go on personalized oh he said it's just saying you'll get personalized notifications i don't know what to decide what per, uh, personalized or i could go on non and then the bell gets a strike through it no notifications so sometimes people there, there's a couple of youtube channels that i do like but they put out too many notifications and you might think that about mine because they do you know videos many many times a day and sometimes I don't mind at the weekend, but if I'm working, if I'm in class or whatever, it's dis distracting. That's all. So there are some that I have. Set. And then when I when I've got time to watch a video, I just think, oh, I'll just go on there and see what they're doing, and go and find the videos that way. But so if you but if you want the notifications, yeah, if you don't want notifications and you want to do it that way, just go on my channel when you feel like watching something and see what's there then you would press the none but if you want notifications and uh, i think particularly people like notifications of the lives don't they because they want to join in um then you have to make sure that you are have pressed this top bell all otherwise you won't if the and it, the others are pressed you won't get all the notifications so I just wanted to point that out. So it might be worth just checking that you're still subscribed if you want to be, as I say. If you don't want to be, that's fine. Now, while I'm on here, I thought I'd just have a look. Uh, I just want to show you. Um, now, even the live, my live videos, which are on here, you can go back at any time and watch these. You know, you don't have to watch them in the moment. 
sometimes I'm not sure if people know that or not, because uh, people will say to me, oh, I've missed the live, but if, you, you may have missed the live, but you can catch up on it. So under the live button there, you've got all the different lives that I've done. Um, and, you know, you can go back and watch them. They're not as much fun if they're not live, live in the moment, I suppose. But, you know, see what... And then here we've got videos, yeah, the videos that I've released. And, of course, you can go back and look at any of them. But something else I wanted to point out to you is the playlists. So, you know, I'm, I am in the process of sort of updating quite a lot in not the video the videos will remain but um i'm in the process of improving the thumbnails and things descriptions you know it's a work in progress uh so we've got lots of different playlists yeah we've got my book there confessions of a spanish teacher of the paranormal true crime remember the danilo cavalcanti manhunt um Nicola Bully, uh, all sorts of, this is, this MISC miscellaneous has got a bit of everything on there, you know, so, because I do try and provide, uh, you've got the serial killer um, playlist, true crime, you know, so I do try and provide sort of a variation, Summer Wells, I need to do some more videos on Summer Wells, I haven't done any for a while rachel marin who unfortunately that's still not been solved so what i'm trying to say is uh of course the advent calendar the christmas uh, videos that are made every day of december leading up to christmas the advent calendar just a bit of fun a bit of positivity every day they're all there as well so anything um you know if you're sort of wanting to maybe stuck for something to watch there you go it's all there you can go back and watch any of those at any time so i just thought i'd point that out okay so thank you um let me stop sharing that i want to say some thank you so i'll put my little ticker up for that i like to put my ticker up when i'm saying thank you so yeah Thank you for liking, watching, subscribing, if you're still subscribed. And, of course, thank you to those of you who've become members. People have sent me PayPals or bought me a Kofi or sent me super stickers, etc. Thanks for all your lovely emails, for all your comments, for everything you do to support my channel, which makes it all worthwhile. Thank you so much. And I, I remember to live and love wisely, carefully. And as always, I will see you really soon in the next video. And until then, may your God go with you. Thank you.